Hi everybody! Okay, you requested for this. B Lift released a video responding to the plagiarism allegations of Min Hee Jin. If you haven't seen a video with the English sub, check out the original video of B Lift. Maybe they've already put English sub there. Or you can go to Twitter. There are some people who uploaded some clips with English sub. Or you can go to my Patreon. I uploaded the entire thing with English sub. Okay. So this video will have two parts. The first part, I'll just go through the major points, the things that they discussed, the allegations, and how they responded. And then the second part will be my reaction. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, first allegation. Min Hee Jin said that B. Lif never responded to her complaint. B. Lif explained that Hybe was the one who investigated them. And so they presented the creative concepts, communications between the production people, creative consultants, everyone who worked on the project, and Hybe determined that there was no plagiarism. And so Hybe responded to Min Hee Jin, stating that they, according to their investigation, there was no plagiarism. And that document that Hybe sent to Min Hee Jin, Min Hee Jin responded to that and she acknowledged that she got it. So there was a response, it's just not in the form that she wanted it. Okay, that's the first one. When Min Hee Jin submitted the complaint, the main pieces of evidence that she used to prove that there was indeed plagiarism were the reactions and comments of fans from on YouTube, neighbor, different platforms. So, and the parents of New Jeans were actually CC'd in that email. Now, the, moin, the main point of B Lift is that they can't control what people are gonna say, they can't control what people are gonna think, but they can present all the creative documentations, communications between people, the pegs, the creative pegs that they used, the mood board and all of those things. So that's what they did. Okay, first, they emphasize the concept, the difference in concept. New Jeans is more Y2K. They're more like girl next door. So their clothing, they're still very aspirational, of course. They're very pretty. But it's more like your girl next door, something that you can copy and that you can wear on your ordinary day hanging out with friends. Isle It is cute, um, but they actually have two personas. One is the super me, and then the other is the real me. So the super me is someone with superpowers. You know, they in the dream world, they have um, uh, a different kind of lore and a different kind of story. And then the real me is the everyday them. Now, I think this is tied, this is not included in their, so this is just my theory, this part. I think this is going to be tied in their future narrative, their future mythology. As we, as we all know, uh, BTS, TXT, and Hyphen, they all have their own lore mythology, and they usually convert that into a manhwa and then a television show. They develop a narrative around it, uh, a different kind of IP so that they can use they can develop other products out of it. So I think that's going to be connected to their mythology. Okay, next. Okay, styling. So this is something very interesting for me. New jeans, as I've said in the previous section, is more girl next door. So the clothing that they would wear, although it's still very aspirational, still very pretty, they are clothing that you can wear on a daily basis. But Isle It, they actually translated the concept of Isle It into their fashion. So they created what they called the Isle It core. And that is a combination of the super part and the real part. So they would combine clothing or sorry, fabric that would be associated with fantastical themes. They would use puff skirts or ruffles and then they'll combine it with sneakers so something something casual so it's a combination of uh super and real so i think i thought it was interesting that they were able to translate it into styling the concept to their uh, fashion styling now there's also a photo set of photos that min Hee Jin complained about she said that the the angle of the cameras the lighting the colors they were all the same now, B Lift explained that it was a photo shoot for L. And so they didn't have a say on what was going to happen. They just went there and L did their thing. So just to explain, if you're a newcomer, if you're a new artist, you probably will not have a say 
especially if it's a big publication, you will probably just have to do whatever it is that they want you to do. Now, if you're somebody like Jenny of Blackpink or G of from Twice, then you probably will have a say. <laughs> they'll, they'll listen to your ideas. But then again, it still depends on who it is that you're working with. There are photographers and stylists and creative directors that will not have it because they're named, they've proven their worth, etc. Okay, next. Production formula. Min Hee Jin mentioned that she's not really about the small details, but more about the production formula. What she's referring to is the marketing execution of marketing tactics that she used to promote new jeans. She felt that B Lift was copying that. Now, B and her primary concern, or the main example that she used, is the appearance of new jeans in the Chanel event. And I'll it went to Fashion Week for Acne Studio. Now, B Lift explained that the main difference is that. New Jeans was invited to become a guest in the Chanel event. Later on, Chanel tapped Minji to become their brand ambassador. Isle It was tapped to become the brand ambassador of Acne Studios before they debuted. So that's the main difference. Now, Isle It is not the first group that was tapped before their, their debut. It was actually Espa. They were tapped by Givenchy before their debut. So uh, the other thing, and this is a personal input, Nobody owns a marketing strategy or a marketing tactic. It's like, it's been there for a long time already. So nobody can claim ownership over that. Okay. Choreography is a major thing for Min Hee Jin. Now, the performance director of ILIT explained that you cannot break down a dance routine into a two-second clip or a split-second clip because if you do that, then many dance routines are going to appear similar because a dance is composed of basic body movements and some of the most basic foundational dance movements. So that's why you can't actually copyright or trademark copyright a specific dance step. You can only copyright an entire performance because a dance routine is composed of different, similar, or many common body movements. I actually created a video explaining that it should be in the comment section or here, just click, where I explained that as well. But he did a good job explaining that. Now, he also said that if we go by the definition of a door on what plagiarism in when it is when it comes to dance movements, then they would be plagiarists too because they and they show the different groups that executed specific moves that were similar to the moves of new jeans and they were very very similar they emphasized though that they don't think that they don't think that new jeans copied them because dance movements or dance routines are composed of common basic body movements but if they go by the definition of a door then it would appear that they copied too okay next next is the handbook Photo shoot. So Min Hee Jin said that before them, before New Jeans, handbook photo shoot was non-existent, which isn't true because B Lift showed that G Friend did it first in the same location. So if Min Hee Jin is going to claim that a door that B Lift copied her, then it would mean that a door copied G Friend. But they they emphasize that they don't think that. It's just that by the definition that a door is offering, then they also copied. Now, the main thing is that Min Hee Jin made it sound as if she was the original and that anybody who would do anything similar to this would be a copy of her. When, in fact, based on all the videos that they already presented, it's very clear that she also took inspiration from other groups and other creative people. And so that's just how it goes. You take inspiration from previous ones and you just develop it. You just improve it. Now... The other thing is that she gaslighted the media. One of the journalists in the second conference, press conference, asked her what she wanted to say to groups that were hurt because of this, like I'll It and Lesser of Him. And she said that it's your fault because you keep on mentioning them. Just don't mention them. And then after that, she proceeded to emphasize that I'll It is a copy of New Jeans. So it seemed like her response to the photographer, or sorry, journalist, isn't consistent with what she did after that question. Okay, now my reaction. This part is my reaction. If you don't want to hear this, you already know this. Just close the window. Okay, first, B-Lift had to do this. Any T 
team leader or CEO or family member would know that if your team member is getting clocked, you can just you can't just stand and watch. You need to make your team see, feel, and realize that you're there for them to protect them, support them, do anything and everything that you can to make sure that they are safe. And you need that trust if you want any kind of partnership to work. And of course, they would want this to work. So he had to do this. Not just for Isle It, yes, yeah, especially for Isle It, but also for every creative contributor and production people who worked on this project. For them to know that if anything goes wrong in the future and make them willing to work with you again, you'll be there for them. They had to do this. Okay, that's first. Second, you can almost feel the emotions <laughs> through the screen, but it, they did a good job at staying professional, keeping their tone controlled, and I have a feeling that the lawyers had something to do with it. They probably made sure <laughs> that they wouldn't say or do something that would appear unprofessional. Um, third is that Min Hee Jin, it just proves that she created a monster in this entire issue. The minute that she claimed she was the original, she basically provoked the international community, styling, dance, to prove that she's not. So not, at, as it is, even before this controversy, the world is already looking at K-pop because of the amount of inspiration they take from other cultures, other arts, other music. And now she did this and now everybody's gonna go after K-pop now. So she didn't just put her own group and her own reputation on the line, but the entirety of K-pop because everyone is going to be extra critical. Number four, this is very interesting. In a previous video, I discussed the different ways on how to communicate different strategies, pathos, logos, and ethos. Pathos is appeal to the emotion, logos appeal to reason, and ethos is more on the reputation of the speaker. Min Hee Jin is very much pathos, so she appealed to people's emotions. And Kim Tae Ho, the CEO of BeLift, is more logos, very logical, appealing to reason. So. Min Hee Jin is very effective in captivating the audience. She is somebody that you will watch because there's a lot of emotions pouring out of her. And she said all the right buzzwords. I treated new jeans like my daughters. I am their other mother. Um, I'm isolated. I'm alone. I am not after money. I'm not after greed. I'm trying to protect them. Um, no one has done. She also boosted her own brand. She said that no one has done what I have been able to do in the last two years, in the last 30 years of K-pop, no one has done what I have been able to do in the last two years. But if you really listen to everything that she's saying, she's not really actually providing any facts to support her claims. In fact, most of the things that she claimed, the opposite, she was doing the opposite. So for example, she called the girls derogatory terms in her cacao, talks me to, uh, cacao messages. Now, she never denied the existence and the accuracy of those cacao message. She just said that they're taken out of context. So that's some, if you're a mother, you would never call your daughter that. So things like that. And then when she said like, oh, no one has been able to do what I have been able to do in the last two years. She never really said what those were. Like there's no support. Now, Kim Teho is very businesslike and there's really not much you can say about it. Just that very businesslike. He was factual. Like this is what she said and this is what we did. This is her claim and this is what we did. Uh, to the point that if, it's almost uninteresting because it's like, <laughs> you don't really get anything. <laughs> like there's, okay, reason, okay, logic. <laughs> but if I'm going to do business, if I want to be entertained, I'll definitely watch Min Hee Jin. But if I want to do business, I'm more like the Kim Tae Ho kind of. <laughs> because I don't like a lot of emotions in business. <laughs> we get things done if there is, if we don't put a lot of emotions in there. Okay. The performance director was actually surprisingly good at explaining technical things without sounding very technical. And I said surprisingly because most of the time, creative people have a hard time translating something creative into something factual and logical. And that's what he was able to do. So kudos to him because I perfectly understood the technicalities of dance, even though I'm not a dancer. Okay, this is the last point for YouTube and then the rest I will be discussing in my Patreon. So if you want to 
go there just go ahead there is a free membership and this specific video will be in the free membership one okay so i'm just curious because min hee jin and her camp was very loud about eyelid people copying their dance steps and stuff now the people came forward to prove that they also took inspiration from other groups and other creative people i'm curious how they're going to respond another clarification is that when i say copy i'm using the definition of adore okay i do think that this is just taking inspiration because as i've said that's just how people do it you would take something from someone and then you improve it you, you innovate it you fuse your own color your, your own style and then you create something new but by their definition they're calling it copy so if that is their definition then that's what they're doing all right so i'm just curious what are they going to see, say now in the last pre press conference she said that she want to forget about it but if anything comes up again she will say something in the end but very convenient but anyway all right so if you want to watch the entire video with english sub check out the b lift video maybe they already uh, uploaded a an english sub video or you can check twitter or you can go to my patreon thank you so much i hope that that helped and um jen is going to come back so i will be concentrating on him and um thank you so much for 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 supporting me please give this video a like subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss a single video and also share the video if you can please follow me on patreon and other social media channels x or twitter and also on instagram thank you till next time